Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial and in this tutorial, I'm going to take you through a brand new software from YouTube itself that allows you to edit your videos right from within your phone and the best part, it is absolutely free of cost and it will be always free of cost. So that being said, I'll show you how you can actually apply cuts to your videos, how you can do noise reduction, how you can add overlays, how you can change the speed, how you can apply effects, transitions and text as well. All of that is covered in this little short video. So if that sounds interesting, then continue watching till the end because I'm going to share it all over here. So without further ado, let's jump onto my mobile phone as you can see over here and let it bring it on screen and I'll be taking you through this YouTube create tutorial. So let's jump inside. So now as you can see my mobile screen is displayed on the screen over here. So let me take you through all of this. So first of all you just need to go over to Play Store and in here you need to search for an app called YouTube Create and hit on enter and as soon as you do so you can see this software over here YouTube Create you can just click on install. In my case it's installed so that's why open is coming up. So let's click open. And now on screen, as you can see, these are the projects that I have worked upon, right? So if I want to actually go ahead and work with them, I can do that. Or if I want to create a new project, I can just come over to this plus icon over here and create the project. But before going that far, I want to show you one thing over here. Right at the top, you can see an icon having my picture over here, right? So if I click on that, this actually allows us to connect to our YouTube channel Gmail account, right? Now, I have blurred out the Gmail over here for security reasons, but if you wish to, you can actually connect to any number of YouTube accounts that you want to, right? Now, that being said, now we want to actually go ahead and show you how this works. So for that, I'll click on this plus icon. As soon as I do so, you can see it actually asks for the clips that I need, right? And in here again, this is blurred because of security reasons. Now, I'm choosing this file over here and then I'll click on import. And as you can see, the importing has started and the best part, it's going to compress the video as well so that it takes up less space and it takes up less internet as well while uploading. So that's a great thing to have. Now, with that being said, as you can see, the clip has been uploaded over here. And this is what the dashboard looks like, right? In here we have the clip. So, hey guys, uh, just filming this video in order to give so you can see that it has a quite a bit of noise because I, I had just taken my mobile like this and I had shot this video, right? And there was no uh, external microphones or something that I used. It was the phone microphone that took place and there is an AC on over here plus there's some ambient noises as well and that is what has been captured as a background noise. Now remember while I'm filming this video right now I'm using this microphone which is a cardioid microphone plus a dynamic one as well so that catches less sound and another important thing is I have certain OBS filters that has been included so that the sounds are captured in a very less way right. So that being said, uh, it's not always possible for us to record in this kind of studio environment. So there are many cases where we'll pick up the phone and we'll record it just like this, right? So that cases will have sound in it. So in here, the best part that I like about it is that it has given you uh, in the bottom, as you can see, let me just move this a little bit upward. Okay, so now at the bottom panel, as you can see, there are plenty of options, right? You can see this. Now, if we scroll over here on the right side, we'll see one thing called audio cleanup, right? So that's the first thing that I wish you to do. That is once you import a file, that is a video file or an audio file, the first thing that you want to do is to remove the background noise because it's very irritating for your subscribers or whoever is watching your video, right? If, if the voice is broken. So the first things first, let's go ahead and click on audio cleanup. And as you can see, the AI takes over. So let's wait. And boom, as you can see, it has been done. So right now, let us play this and let us see what changes has taken place. So let's play this. Hey guys, uh, just You're filming this. So you can see that it's amazing, right? All the background noise has been removed. I, I haven't seen such a remarkable thing using even other softwares like Audacity. For Audacity, yes, you can do all the stuff, but then you need to learn Audacity. But here, one click and boom, you are done. So a great thumbs up to YouTube team for this amazing feature. This really eradicates a lot of pain for the creators. So that being said, now let's go back. Now in here, I'll go through it sequentially, right? All the options that you can see over here. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step sequential tutorial on how to use them. So the first thing that you can see over here is called split. Now why split is needed if you want to cut a portion of your video. Say for example, I want to cut this portion where I have not talked about anything. You can see if you notice this wavelength over here, the audio wavelength, there is no wavelength over here and then from here there is the wavelengths, right? So that means the audio starts from here. So I want to actually... Uh, 
cut off any part from the left of it, right? So in here, I'll bring the cursor as you can see. And then I will hit on this split right from here or this Caesar icon over here. Both of them work same. So let's hit on that. And as you can see, this part has been actually identified. So I can now click on this and then I can swipe right to find this delete. Click on that and boom, it would be deleted, right? Now, as soon as we delete it, we can find this clip is over here. Now, if I wish to make more edits on the video, just make sure that you select the video as soon as you do. So again, those things will appear. So the second thing that I want to tell you is how you can cut a portion from the middle of your video. Say, for example, I want uh, this portion to be cut off anything between four seconds to uh, say eight seconds, right? So what I can do is that I can come over to this four second mark and then hit on split. And then I can go over to the 8 second mark and then again hit on split. As soon as we do so, you can see the entire video clip has been divided into three sections. One is from 0 to 4, then 4 to 8, and then from 8 to the rest of the part, right? Now, if we wish to delete this part, we can select this part and go ahead and hit on delete and boom, it would be deleted. Now, in the similar way, you can go ahead and delete anything from the right part as well. That is towards the end as well. You can just you can hit on split and split the video and then delete the unwanted part. It's very easy. I'm not going to show all of that. So I guess you could easily do this. Now, with that being said, uh, say for example, now I want, I don't want this delete. It was done in unintentionally. So I can just go over in this part and hit on this undo. Once I do that, you can see over here, now the cuts have disappeared. So you can undo anything that you have done erroneously as well in one click, which is a good option to have. That being said, that was regarding split, how you can split your videos. The next thing that we have is filters. In here, you can see there are many filters available. So you can go ahead and choose any of them. And as soon as you choose, so you can see the difference that you get. You can also maintain the scale over here. That gives you a nice little effect as you can see over here. And there are many, many kind of effects that you can add. So you are not at all limited. And this can be very, very useful if you are creating Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts, right? So that is how you need to apply filters. The next thing that we have is effects. This is again a very important thing. In here, we can act different effects on our video. Say for example, uh, you wish to see how it would look in a 3D picture, right? So let's go ahead for the 3D glass and you can see over here, Look at this, the 3D effect has been applied, right? So that's quite amazing. It, it looks like you are watching this on a 3D movie scale without your 3D glasses and it appears exactly like that. So that's quite good. Now, once you are happy with it, you can hit on done and it would be applied over here. So in this way, you can go ahead and choose any effects. There are many effects as you can see over here. You can choose any of them as per your liking. Now, let me revert this by hitting this undo. So as you can see, I've got back the original one again. Then comes the adjustment. You can just click on this and from here you can adjust the brightness, the contrast, the highlight, the shadows, the white point, black point, saturation, all of that. Say for example, I want to increase the saturation. I can do that. You can see how saturated the colors look like now. So I can play around with this and find a suitable tone as well. So that's up to me. That being said, it also allows you to apply transitions. There are inbuilt transitions and as we know, transitions are applicable on the cuts. So let's go ahead and make a cut over here quickly. Now in here, let's select this, uh, this one maybe and click on done. And now if we play this, let's play this. Look at that, right? So that is how you can actually apply the transitions. You can find these transitions over here. You can go ahead and actually choose any of these transitions and hit on done and boom, your transition will take place. Look at that. So in this way, you can actually apply transitions. There are plenty of transitions that are done for you. The next thing that we have is speed. Now you can go ahead and click on speed and you can actually have a slow motion video or a faster video as well. That's up to you. If I change this speed and if I play this, you can see that, right? So that's how you can actually change the speed. The next thing that we have is volume. Again, we can change the volume in one click over here. We can increase the volume or decrease the volume as well, depending on the need. The next thing that we have is audio cleanup. I have already shown you, so I'm not going to do that, but it's a very, very great feature to have. The next thing we can go ahead and rotate our video as well. You can see. So we can pinch to crop and rotate our media. So you can see over here. So we can make it like this. Now, if we actually go ahead and play this. So in here, I can have this presets as well. So you can see it's amazing, amazing, powerful features that it has. The next part, we can also replace and rearrange medias. I'm going to show it in a little while. And then again, delete, I have shown you. And then the duplicate part, if you want to duplicate a media file, you can do that from here as well. So that was all that you can do on video, but there are some other things as well. So for that, we'll click on this bottom icon over here, just the arrow, click on that. And once you do that, you will get these features. Like if you want to add an overlay, say for example, I'm saying something like, um, 
if you can see on screen here, right? At that moment, I want a image or a video or a sticker to pop up, right? So from where we would get it, we would get it from this overlay. Just click on this and in here, you can go ahead and overlay it with anything that you want. Say for example, this one, I can just click on import. And as you can see, it has been imported over here. Now we can place it anywhere we wish to. We can actually go ahead and shrink it. We can rotate it. We can place it anywhere on screen. So that is very much doable. And the best part over here is that we can control the timeline up to which it is available, right? We can make it longer or shorter depending on our choice. Now, if we don't like it, we can just select this and then we can go over delete and click on delete and boom, it would be deleted as well. So that's all doable. The next thing that we want to add is text. Now we can add plain text. Just go for it and write Cheyenne just for an example. And then if we click on done, it, it would be added as you can see. Now we can place it anywhere we wish to. And then the best part, we can actually go ahead and edit this. What we can do is that we can add a style to it. We can uh, increase the size, right? We can change the fonts, whatever font we want to. One click and it would be changed. We can change the color. We can change the background, say for example, like this, right? Then we can change the formats. We can change the outline, we can change the shadow, all of that is doable at one clicks, right? So you can even go ahead and play around with the intensity and the value of all those. I just wanted to let you know that all of that is possible, right? So you can do all of that stuff over here. Now it doesn't stop here. You can even go ahead and animate this text as well. You can add animation to this text and boom, it would be added over here, right? So that is very much easy to do. Then if you wish to, you can actually go ahead and even add text effect. These are done for you text templates that is already done for you. You can just click on this and this would be added to your video. Let's play this and you can see this is how your title appears. Now, if you wish to edit them, you can do that as well. You can just click on edit and in here you can give it a thing like Cheyenne just for an example. And now you can click on done and once that is done, you can move that around. You can place it wherever you wish to. That's up to you. So that's how you can add lower thirds or kind of titles with presets as well. Now you can again give them animation as well. That's up to you. The next thing that we want to add is stickers. We often need to add stickers like subscribe, say for example. We can go ahead and find this on this library over here and then we can place it wherever we wish to say on top. I can place it like this. I can also control the timeline for which it appears. So all of that is under control. Now that being said, we can go ahead and even add sounds to it. We can click on sound and from here we can add music. You don't need to worry about copyrights because this uses YouTube library. So you are not never going to get any copyright issues. You can choose any of these background musics or if you, if you like this one, say for example, you can hit on this and this would be added from the time the cursor is in till the end of this video, right? You can see over here. So that's it. That's how easy it is. Now, if you wish to add say for example any kind of sound effects you can again go over to sound effect and in here say for example i want to add a clap you can see over here i can get this quite good right so i can actually go ahead and choose any one of these there are many options available and once i like any of them i can click on this arrow and boom it would be added on our media as well so that's how easy it is now that being said we can actually go ahead and give voice over onto this as well so i'll bring the cursor right to the start and when it is there, I will go over to this voiceover, click on that. And in here, once ready, I'll click on this red button and start recording. So let's do that. Hey, this is a test of voiceover. So this has been done. And you can see it has been added over here. So if I go ahead and play this from here. Hey, this is a test of voiceover. YouTube. So you can see it has happened seamlessly. So if you have recorded something and by chance by, or accidentally you have a uh, done something wrong with your voiceover, you can change it right from within the editor. So that's a great feature to have. Then you can also go ahead and have the captions. You can actually load the automated captions and it would be done within a few seconds. You just need to have your sound source that is from video and then the language spoken, say English, and then click on create. And once you do that, you would see that the voice, uh, the captions would be created in a few moments. So let's play this. So you can see the captions are coming up, right? So that's how easy it is. You can actually place that anywhere that you want to and it's pretty easy to have. You can even go ahead and edit it. If, if it is wrong by any chance, you can go ahead and edit it. You can change the styles as well. All of that is doable. The next thing that it has is the aspect ratio. You can go ahead and change your aspect ratio if required. So once you are all done with all the things, 
then you just need to go on top over here and click on these three dots and from here you can click on export and once you do that you can fix the frame rate and you can fix the resolution and click on export and boom you can see the export has taken place so it will actually be exported and you will find it right within your create app and from there you can actually go ahead and even publish it onto your YouTube account so that's how powerful this software is and that's how easy it is the best part as I told you again it's absolutely free of cost so that's a great great thing to have so with that being said, it brings me to an end of this YouTube create software tutorial and I really hope that you guys have enjoyed it. So we'll meet again on the next one.